All right, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about one of the first snow events here on the season for the northwestern United States. Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho are going to be seeing some of their first snowfall. I'm saying some because I know a lot of areas have seen their first snowfall, especially high elevations, but this is the first one I'm making a video on. But before I get started with the video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in our description particularly the Instagram, which we've been working on a lot, that's going to be in the pinned comment. We make a lot of exclusive content that you can't find anywhere else on that account, so I would highly recommend you check that out. Now, we're looking at our future cast radar, and what you're going to notice a lot with this video is, I know this is a smaller snowstorm, especially for that area, and it doesn't really make sense that I'm making a video on it. It's not very notable, but it is the first one of the first snowfalls of the year, so I am excited about it. And also, I do want to work on how I'm going to be making these snowfall videos throughout the winter. I want to start working on it now so that I can make tweaks to the style so that by the time we're talking about big snowstorms, I already have it down. You know, the way that's going to get the point across the best. And, you know, I'm just going to be able to work on it. This is almost like practice, but it is interesting and it is worth making a video on. But I'm able to kind of tweak things from this point on. So if you don't, if you have anything you want to add or want to mention about the style that I do in this video that you'd rather me change up a little bit or any suggestions, let me know in the comments because this is a work in progress and we are going to be, you know, forecasting a lot of snow, snowstorms this winter, hopefully every single one as I make daily uploads. So we definitely want to tweak that because that's going to be a big part of this channel coming up soon. Anyway, we're looking at our future cast radar. And this is in Eastern Standard Time. I am going to be trying to do Western Time or Pacific Time, whatever it's called. Um, when I, In the future videos, I just didn't think about it before I made this video. And I just realized that it's Eastern Standard Time. And I don't really know exactly how far it is difference to Mountain Time or whatever. So I hope that you guys know the difference between Eastern Standard Time and Mountain Time if you live out there. Uh, but for all my future videos, I'll make sure to have that time on hand so I can translate it for you guys. But nevertheless, right about now, we're looking at some snow flurries for the mountains of Idaho, as well as the mountains that border Montana and Idaho. And then we also see some of those mountains there near Riverton in Wyoming, seeing some snowfall starting by this point. We are going to move on to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can see Idaho, we're starting to wrap up. We have a little bit of flurry still sticking around as well as for those mountains in the Montana and Idaho border. But really the big story now is those mountains near Riverton and Pinedale, Wyoming, as well as Jackson Hole. Uh, we have all sorts of snow going on for these areas. Uh, Yellowstone, I, I think you're a little too low elevation. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think that that's why it's staying all rain over there. But for the most part near Pinedale, and Riverton, and Dubois, if that's how you say that, and Jackson. We have a lot of heavier snow going on. I am going to tweak our color table for the snowfall here. I'm noticing it's pretty hard to see where the heavy snow and light snow is. I The rain, the greens and yellows and oranges, you can see they look pretty nice, and it's pretty distinguishable. That's because I made those custom, but the snowfall ones I got from a website. So I'm going to be tweaking that snowfall one and making it a lot more distinguishable just like the rainfall one so that's something I already am gonna work on moving on to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time you can see the mountains near Pinedale and Riverton and Dubois we're starting to wrap up here we have some flurries sticking around but not too much going on it's really moved to north and west near Cody and just to the east of West Yellowstone or I guess that's where Yellowstone is located as well but it says West Yellowstone but to the areas to the east of that, we are seeing some snow for the higher elevations, and it's going to wrap up a little bit after this point uh, as far as snowfall is concerned. Now, here's our snowfall map, and again, we're going to have a lot of snowfall maps just like this throughout the winter and fall months for all sorts of snow events. So that's something to be excited about. We have more high-resolution maps that we've recently uh, received, so things do look a little bit more high-resolution than they did last winter. So let me know how you feel about the resolution on this. I think it looks awesome. It uh, looks very HD here, but you can see that we in these white regions, we have a dusting to three inches of snow. So for the mountains in between Idaho and Montana, we're going to be dealing with anywhere from, again, dusting to three inches. A same story for a lot of the regions in central Idaho, those high elevation regions. And then areas in Montana and then down through northwestern Wyoming. We're going to be dealing with a lot of those dusting to three inches. Also, there's a little bit of mountains there in the central North Central Wyoming regions, they're going to be seeing dusting to three inches as well. We do have a little bit of a blue region here 
for those mountains again that were located near Pinedale and Riverton. This region is going to be expecting 3 to 6 inches of snow in those higher elevations near the highest peaks. I know probably nobody lives there, but, you know, we got to mention it. We do expect 3 to 6 inches of snow for that blue region. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is going to be a work in progress. We are going to tweak the style with the snowfall forecast based on what you guys like and what gets uh, the point across, I guess. So we're going to see what works. Again, let me know in the comments and new things you think I can add, things that you thought I could change about what I've done here. Uh, I'm willing to hear it all because at the end of the day, it is my channel, but it is about you guys. So let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.